A cyclic process is a process that starts and ends on the same state. So if necessary, the cycle can repeat over and over again. Consider this cyclic process on a PV diagram. The process starts on state A and ends on state A. What do you think is the change in internal energy of the system in this cyclic process? Delta U is U final minus U in initial. And the both the final and initial are state A. So this is a 0. Because U is a function of state, if it's the same state, the internal energy is the same amount. So if we have a cyclic process, the delta U is 0 because it goes back to the starting state. Which part of the graph do you think can tell us about the work done on the gas in this cyclic process? It may be convenient for you to break this cyclic process into two parts, the top part and the bottom part. We can break the process into two parts. The work done on the gas for this entire process equals to the work done on the gas for the top part plus the work done on the gas for the bottom part. The work done on the gas is the area under the graph. And if the volume increases, the work is the, the negative area. If the volume decreases, the work done is the positive area. If you add the negative this part of the area to the positive this part of the area, what do you think you get? What you get is the negative area inside. Because the area down here being negative cancels with the area down here that's positive. So this negative part plus the positive part, they cancel. What's left is uh, the area that's in here. So the work done on the gas for a cyclic process is the area that's inside the cyclic process. And the work done on the gas is negative if the process is clockwise. The work done on the gas is positive if the cyclic process goes counterclockwise. Because if it's clockwise, that means uh, there is more negative work done than positive work done. If it's a counterclockwise cyclic process, there is more positive work done than negative work done. So the net work done will be positive. How do you think you can find the heat added to the gas in this cyclic process? According to the first law, delta U equals to Q plus W, Q equals to delta U minus the W, which means uh, since delta U is 0, Q would be the negative work done on the gas.